Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna be talking about my top 10 fragrances for the summer of 2024. If you guys are new to the channel, my name's Seth and I love to talk about fragrances way too much. So if that sounds like something uh, you'd end up enjoying, then please feel free to go on and subscribe to the channel. I'm more than happy to have you. Also feel free to drop a like on this video too. This list, the top 10 for summer, are a bunch of different fragrances. I've tried to include uh, a lot of different price ranges, a lot of variety in here. So like with most summer fragrances, most of them you tend to find they're very citrusy, they're very marine, aquatic smelling, and they all have like a sort of similar DNA. But this list, most of them on this, on this list here uh, have got completely different scent profiles. I'm gonna be ranking them based on like the number 10 spot and the honorable mentions on like uh, how well they perform, how well they do around others, um, to number one being like the best compliment, the best kind of like smell, like the most, uh, you know, high end smell, if that makes sense, the best kind of quality uh, that they have. But yeah, all the ones on this list are very good. I've worn them in the past and I absolutely love wearing every single one of them for the summer. So we are going to kick it off with two honorable mentions. Now, these two are in the honorable mention spot because they are both discontinued, unfortunately. Otherwise, they would be up there in the top three, like both of them, one of them would be competing for the number one spot, it's that good. So I'm gonna talk about the one that is discontinued, but in the UK, they have actually brought it back, and that's this one here. If you're a, a veteran of the fragrance game, uh, since 2016, then you might know about this one already. Uh, it needs no introduction if that's the case. But if not, this is Invictus Aqua by Raban. Now, they're just called Raban. I think they've got rid of the Paco. So this is the 2024 version. They actually re-released this in the UK. Um, it was a limited release. I think they're still doing it. I've decanted a lot of this already. Um, a lot of people are very interested in this one. So why is this in the honorable mentions? The reason why is because in the US and everywhere around the world, apart from I think the UK, they've actually stopped producing this. And the original 2016 version when they released this was so good, so powerful. It's like the original Invictus with that kind of sweet bubble gum, but they've added like a almost salty marine note to this one. It's really good. The only difference between this and the 2016 version, I'd say, apart from the scent profile, they're identical. The only difference is the performance. I'd say with this version, the 2024 release, I get around three to four hours of like projection and then about six hours of longevity, which is quite good, which is quite good for a fresh fragrance. Whereas the reason why this got so much hype back in 2016, was because the performance on this was insane. Like you could spray it on your, your clothes and they would last for days. Like you could spray it on the back of your neck, on skin. It would last eight to 10 hours. It could last you all day. Whereas this one, although it smells the exact same, is a little bit diluted almost. It, the performance isn't as good, but still really nice, sweet, but salty marine, uh, like fresh smell. Uh, it's really good. Only reason why it's on the honorable mentions is because in some countries it's still discontinued. But if you can find it, then definitely try it. I know they did a 2018 version, which was clear. Um, that one was okay. It smelled a little bit different, but this one is really close to the 2016 version. So if you can find a 2016, even better. But first honorable mention is Invictus Aqua by Raban or Paco Raban, if you get the 2016 or 18. <laughs> Okay, the other honorable mention on this list would be in the top three, possibly top two, if not number one. This one has been with me for a while. I'm so upset that they discontinued this. I've actually got a spare 100 ml bottle of this somewhere. Uh, this one is the strength of the ocean, as Jeremy used to call it. It's a beautiful tangerine, aquatic, fresh sea breeze smell. And that is from the house of Bulgari, and that is this one here, Aqua Amara. It's a really awkward bottle, 
especially when you try and spray it, you have to like really stretch your hand over the thing. Um, but this is great. This, unlike the new pack of Raban, this thing lasts forever. This, you can spray it and it leaves the most beautiful, salty sea breeze tangerine, like a fresh tangerine after you peel it smell to this. I've had amazing compliments on it. I, I think every single time I've worn this, and you can see just by the bottle, this is a 50ml bottle by the way, how much I've sprayed. And I honestly think every single time I wore this, I got a compliment. Like I would be wearing this uh, around my friends whenever I, it was like the heat, the highest heat um, in the UK. And it gets really humid in the UK when it's hot. And I wore this and we were out playing football uh, on, on a field and it was really, you know, really hot. And of course I was sweating because of doing exercise and every single person that I was like going past in football, they said they could smell me. And I had three people that I knew asking me what I was wearing because of how, uh, of how nice they said it smelled in the air. And I will admit this thing leaves an amazing scent trail and you can also just like kind of smell it um, just on you for the whole day. If you just spray three to five sprays, it's going to last you, I'd probably say about eight hours. Um, projection, longevity, uh, sillage, I'd probably say four to five. But if you spray this thing on clothes, it will last such a long time, which is amazing for a freshie, for an aquatic fragrance. I can't rate this one highly enough. I'm so upset that they discontinued it. Otherwise, this would be definitely, like I said, up there in the top three spot, but it's really hard to find now. Um, if you can find a bottle, I spent about £100 on um, a 100ml bottle a few months ago, whereas back in 2019, I thought I bought, I think I bought this 50ml, I bought it for £20. So the price has definitely gone up, uh, but if you can find a decent price um, with this fragrance, with a decent level shown, definitely get it. Oh man, it just reminds me of summer on the beach. It's so good. Um, okay, so kicking off our list, guys, in the number 10 spot, we are going to go with possibly the most cheap one on this list. And also in terms of quality, this one is a little bit lower compared to some of the other ones in this list. What I mean by that is so it does smell a little bit like sort of synthetic, but it is still fresh, it is still nice, and it does still get compliments. This one gets compared to Virgin Island Water by Creed. Uh, not because they smell the same, but they are in like the similar ballpark of the type of fragrance. So this one that I'm talking about is St. Bart's. Uh, I think it's Set Sail St. Bart's, I think it's called. Um, sure, that, I'm sure that's what it's called. Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's. This is super cheap. You can get this for £20. I remember back when I bought this in 2017, 2018, there was hardly any of these bottles in the UK, but they've become a lot more readily available. This is a super good salty tequila lime smell I get from this. And it's an eau de cologne concentration, but this thing surprisingly has amazing performance. Uh, it's one of my girlfriend's favourite um, summertime smells whenever I wear this one. Every single time she'll give me a compliment. It lasts a really long time on clothes. Um, this is more of a daytime fragrance. Um, if you're, I, the way how I can picture this is someone wearing like a Hawaiian shirt um, in like a bar or something with a straw hat. That's what I can see someone wearing this in or definitely down the beach. This is a a daytime beach fragrance. If you just wanted to spray yourself, if you've just come out the sea, this is what I would wear. Um, so good. Um, but like I said, it has got an almost synthetic -y smell, a little bit something like you would get from like an air freshener. Um, I could definitely just see myself, if I lived in a lot of a warmer country, just spraying this in my car or something. But yeah, still good, super cheap. So coming in at the number 10 spot is St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama. Really cool bottle design too. The cap though, really bad. Really, really light. Super, super cheap. Super cheap plastic. 
Okay, coming in at the number nine spot, a little bit higher up in terms of price, not by a lot. You can still get this for a really cheap price, under 30 pounds for 100 mil if you live in the UK. This one used to get a lot of hype when it first came out. It's slowly come down, but nonetheless, it still gets me amazing compliments. It still lasts forever. They I don't think they've reformulated this too much. It's from the house of Versace, and that's this one here. Versace Poor Hom, I think this one's called. Yeah, or Versa yeah, Versace Poor Hom. This is supposed to smell a little bit like Chanel Allure Home Sport. It's a cheaper version of that, but it lasts longer. It gets better compliments in my experience, and it's a, a more kind of pleasing fragrance in my opinion. It's a little bit more fresh. Um, I've worn this in the nighttime when I went out down like a like a bay area, uh, out to a few restaurants, and I walked past a table, um, and the person that was serving on the table turned around and said to me like how nice I smell, and I was wearing this one. So this. If I can describe it is like a almost dryer sheet smell with like a little bit of a orangey orange blossom smell in here clean it's very clean very uplifting uh, almost exactly like you would imagine the color of the liquid to smell it's just very pleasing it's a very pleasing fra uh, fragrance it's very safe um, it's not daring at all but I get really good um, compliments on this. I get really good reactions. People can definitely smell you when you when you spray this on, which is great for a freshie. Perfect for the daytime. But because it's so safe, you could probably wear this anywhere in the summer setting. Really good one. Coming at the number nine spot is Versace Poor Hom. Super good. Okay, coming in at the number eight spot this time. This one. Uh, in terms of price, is a lot higher up on the list. This one um, is from the House of Amouage, and we're going for a little bit of a different colour bottle design, and that's this one here, Lyric Man. So Lyric Man, I love the bottle on this. The other ones we've had have been really light and really bright. Lyric Man is a dark red, and that's not to confuse you with the actual smell of this one, because it couldn't be further from the truth. This Whenever you smell this in the bottle, is again super fresh, super clean. This is a little bit higher up on the list because it's a little bit harder to wear. In terms of quality, this thing is probably the best rose fragrance, and that's why this comes a little bit lower, is because it's got rose in here. This has got rose, lime, um, and I think a few other citruses in here that kind of give this a really nice, clean, floral, citrusy smell with musks as well towards the dry down. Oh, man. So, super good, um, but it's quite daring. It, you definitely have to kind of, um, you know, be confident wearing an almost perfumey smell because the rose in here can turn some people off because it might smell a little bit too feminine. But if that's something that you might like, like a jammy rose with lime, and that sounds like something you're interested in, I definitely recommend you give this one a go. I really like this one. Um, I usually wear this when I'm wearing like a pink t-shirt. Um, I find that works great with this one. It just kind of works perfectly. Um, or like blue jeans, shorts or something, and a, a white t-shirt. Just something plain and simple, nice and clean, uh, nice and neutral, you could wear this one. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7. Coming in at the number seven spot, guys, this one, reminds me of when I went to Gran Canaria for a wedding and it was such a great time. I was wearing a nice blue suit, uh, light blue suit, and it just complemented this fragrance perfectly. Every time I smell it, it just transports me back. And that's this one here, Versace O Fresh. This, just a bit like the bottle, it reminds me of like by the pool. And it's it does a really good job of that. It just, it reminds me of being like poolside on holiday. That is just what this fragrance smells like. It's supposed to be like a woody aquatic. And honestly, like if you've ever been to a really hot country and you've just come out of the pool and you walk around the pool by the deck chairs 
I don't know why, but it just reminds me of that. Um, really light. Whenever I spray this in the summer and it's just so hot, spraying this just cools you down. Like if this is my really high heat fragrance, I love this one, guys. The performance could be a little bit better, um, which is also kind of the reason why I've sprayed so much of it. But I really like it. Every time I wear it, it just oh, it just has a cooling down effect. Really good one, guys. Number seven spot, you've got Versace Eau Fresh. Okay, coming in at the number six spot, guys. This one, a little bit like Lyric Man, is a little bit different. It It is unisex. I'd say this one leans a little bit more towards the male side. Um, this one is a clone, though, of a more expensive fragrance. And that's this one here by Mason Alhambra. And that is Bright Peach. So this one is supposed to be a clone, if you couldn't tell from the bottle design, of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. And they're very similar. This one, I'd probably say, is like 80% similar. And I'm not just saying this because it because uh, I've got the clone of it, but spraying them side by side, I did used to have a sample of Bitter Peach. Honestly, I actually think, personally, I prefer this one just because this has a little bit more of, a little bit like what the, the, the name says, of a brighter peach. It's a little bit more sweet, whereas uh, Bitter Peach has got um, a more kind of dark, almost earthy peach, whereas this is a really uplifting, bright, peachy smell, creamy peach, um, almost like um, peach ring sweet. That's what I get from this. And it's super light. It's super bright. I've got a really nice um, orange hoodie that I like to wear this with. It just complements it perfectly. If you're a fan of peach, I am because it's my favorite fruit. This, every time I wear it, it just such a nice, pleasant smell. <sighs> Perfect for the summer day, border in the afternoon. If you wanted to wear this in the afternoon, you could. I think this one has a kind of cognac note in it as well, but it's not overdone. It just kind of gives it an almost kind of cocktail smell, like a peach cocktail almost. But super good, guys. I absolutely love this one. Um, peach is my favorite thing ever, so... Yeah, also super cheap too, because it's a clone. Okay, guys, coming in at the number five spot. This one is, in my opinion, a little bit similar to Versace Eau Fresh, but this one I would say could be worn mainly in the daytime, whereas this one, Amouage Search, coming at the number five spot, this smells more towards the afternoon and the nighttime of the summer. So this, whenever I first smelled it, I thought, oh no, <laughs> I've just spent all this money on an amouage and it smelled just like this. But I sprayed it on my skin, let it develop. And this one has got the same, it's along the same lines in terms of the citruses that they're using in this one. But this has a smoky incense uh, ness to it which means you can wear it more towards the afternoon, towards the, the night time. It's a lot more kind of manly, a lot more daring as well. This smells like lemon and limes uh, squeezed together and just thrown onto a fire, uh, into a, a sauce pan or, or a frying pan, I should say. Super, super nice. Also, it lasts forever, guys. This thing, if you spray it on your skin in the morning, it will last you all night until the next day almost. The sillage, the projection on this, it's an amouage, so it, you know it's gonna last a long time. But yeah, this thing, guys, is powerful. It's a powerful stuff. Super good for the night time. Um, okay, coming in, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Coming in at the number four spot is a fragrance that reminds me of whenever I went to London a few weeks ago. And I've worn this before, but ever since I wore it, I wore so much of it when I went to London. It was a really nice sunny day, no clouds in the sky, light blue skies. Uh, where I was staying in London was right by Paddington area. And most of the buildings by there are kind of like nice white buildings. Um, the, the floor 
out there is like, you know, uh, the pavements, I should say, are like a nice sort of whitish concrete. And me and my girlfriend went there for the day and we just walked around Hyde Park with the sun beaming down. Really nice day. Um, I've not been to London too much. I do live in the UK, but I hardly go to London. And the time I went was just amazing. And every time I smell this fragrance, it just transports me to it. And that's this one here, Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, oh intense. And this, oh man, <laughs> I love it. This smells a little bit kind of like a flowery, almost like a gummy bear sort of smell, uh, marine gummy bear. Uh, very fresh, very light when it heats up on your body or on clothes or whatever, there is a certain note in here. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to try and find out now. But the note in here that they use uh, comes out a lot more when it, it gets heat on it. Okay, so I've just checked Fragrantica, and I think it's the grapefruit. There's a nice, almost juicy but dry grapefruit note that comes out in this one. It's got marine notes in it too. Um, but yeah, this thing just reminds me of a nice summer day. You could definitely wear this um, in like the afternoon. I can see you wearing this. It's almost upscale as well, uh, but you could wear it casually. Very good, good performance as well. Super good. Coming in at the number four spot, Dolce & Gabbana, light blue, oh intense. So I know there's so many different flankers of this, but in my opinion, this one is one of the better ones. Okay guys, so coming to the number three spot, this one, I have worn for a few years now. It's not that that talked about really. Uh, it gets overshadowed by another two fragrances from the house uh, in the men's in the men's line. This one is surprisingly good for compliments. It's super powdery. It's very fresh and citrusy. And that's this one here. Chanel Allure Home Sport Edition Blanche. This smells like a lemon meringue pie. Oh, so classy. This is a more upscale version than I think anything else on this list. If you are looking for something posh in the summer, if you've got a wedding that you're going to or a dressed up event, uh, this is a good shout for that. Super versatile. You can wear this all day long. I've worn this uh, clubbing before whenever I was wearing uh, the, same, the same light blue shirt. Uh, the same light blue suit that I was wearing um, whenever I wore this for the wedding. For a wedding, I wore the same suit just because me and my friends thought it'd be funny to go out in suits uh, to, to a night out. And I wore this, and I got loads of compliments when we went out to the, the bars and stuff like that on the night out. Uh, super good. It's a like I said, classy, creamy lemon that just sticks around forever. Really classy, I love this one, guys. Number three, Chanel Allure Home Sport Edition Blanche. And it gets overshadowed too by Bleu de Chanel and uh, O Extreme. Uh, Chanel Allure Home Sport O Extreme. But give this, one a go this, they wanna, give this one a go, because it's super classy and it doesn't get talked about enough. Okay, number two. This one just misses out. In, it's not the longest lasting one, unfortunately. But in terms of quality, this one is probably one of the best, if not, like I said, second best on this list. It was my signature scent for the longest time. I think since uh, January, I think I've been wearing this as my signature scent. Super nice bottle design. Doesn't get talked about enough from the rest of the ones on in the house. And that's this one. Creed Arolfa. Creed Arolfa. Just smell it real quick. Oh, man. Yeah. Sometimes I forget how good this is, and I just need to go and spray it and wear it as my scent of the day, which I'm going to do. Oh, my God. This is... Oh, man. It just smells like you're on a yacht in Italy or the south of France, and you're on, yeah, cruising down the... Down the down the sea with a nice sea breeze. Oh, man. Arolfa. So, so good, man. Oh, my God. The performance could be a bit better, 
but it just smells like the sea breeze with the nicest citruses that are around. Nice creaminess from, I think there's sandalwood in here, which reminds me a little bit of like, uh, as if you're just lying on a deck of, of a boat, uh, like I said, in the Mediterranean. And I'm just smelling it on myself now. So, so good. So high quality too. You, you can just tell the best citruses are in this thing. <sighs> I just wish it lasted a little bit longer. And the profile that it leaves around you is just so refreshing, so good. Um, another quick honorable mention, thinking about it just whilst I got it, is uh, Millicium Imperial. This thing, it's a very similar direction to this one, but there's more of like a melon-ishness to this one. Still got sea breeze, but this one's more, uh, more mature almost, more kind of, um, a little bit more refined is the word there. A little bit more refined, whereas this one, is definitely a little bit more, uh, yeah, this one's definitely more kind of 80s style when it came out. This thing's more, a little bit more modern, but this thing's more timeless classic. If you can, try and find an older batch. So this one is a newer batch. Um, I can't really see what batch code this is. I think this is a C batch. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, but if you can find one in the old bottle design, get that one because I've smelled that before in department stores and oh my god, that one had so much more lime citruses in it, whereas this one's a little bit more sea breeze sort of thing. But super, super good and so under the radar. I'm surprised more people don't talk about how good this is. Um, and funny enough, actually, whenever I first went to the department store to smell it, I thought this smelled... Um, it had like a urine smell to it, but that was just because my nose wasn't developed enough. Um, if you get the same reaction, spray it on your hand and just kind of give it a little while to cool down to sit. And uh, eventually over time, like me, hopefully, you will be able to experience just how good, how much high quality is in this one. If you see it uh, in the department store, make sure that this is one of the first creeds you try. So good. And guys, coming in at the number one spot, this is a fairly new one on my uh, in my collection. I've heard so much people talk about this one. I was like, right, I'm just going to go out and buy it and just see what the hype's all about. And to be fair, I'm surprised I didn't get this one way sooner, and I wish I did. This um, is from a house. I This is my first purchase from the house, and I will probably purchase a few more just based on how good this one is and I'm not just saying this as like a you know YouTube review hyper um you know link in the description to go and buy it uh, there is a link in the description by the way but um yeah this one is good it is good I I as a non-biased reviewer who doesn't get paid or you know sent anything for review I can tell you non-biased non-anything I've been in the fragrance game for almost 10 years, I can tell you that this is one of the best citrus smells that I smelled. Um, it was a Rolfer for the longest time, but I'd probably say this has changed. Uh, and that is this one here. Number one spot, guys, is Louis Vuitton Imagination. So this is like a blue citrus tonic. I believe that this has the note of citron in here. And, oh my God. This fragrance is probably the most recent one that is like, wow, blow me away in a while. And that actually hasn't happened, I'd probably say since, uh, in terms of like freshies and um, chiffre fragrances and that genre. Um, to do that, the last one would probably be Aventus. Um, <laughs> yeah. This one is good, guys. It is like dryer sheets. It's super fresh. The performance on this thing, oh my God. Um, if, if you can remember whenever Sauvage first came out, no one really knew about it. Um, and people had that and the performance on it for a freshie was mega. It was insane. This reminds me of original Sauvage where uh, it gets so hyped 
Uh, it gets amazing compliments. I wore this to work once. I was like, you know, it's a it's a freshie. Yeah, so what? It's a, it's a high-end designer freshie. People are going to like it regardless. I'm just going to wear it. And I wore it into work, and my job is kind of going to a bunch of different departments, seeing a bunch of different people. And every time I went to a different department that day, I probably went to about four different departments to speak to a bunch of different people. Um, every single one I went to, I got a compliment from someone in that department. And there's people in those departments that have never given me compliments in work before. And I've got over 60, 70 fragrances and I've not had a compliment on any of the other ones. They gave me a compliment on this one. But I'll wear this if um, I just want to, I want to play it safe and I want to tell, I want to, I want to make a statement as well just to tell people that, yeah, I know I smell good. That's, that's what this reminds me of. Um, this, I think Louis Vuitton are definitely going more down the uh, kind of like Rolex version of fragrances where like, you know, it's the almost hype beast thing to get. Um, it just smells classy, it smells sophisticated, it smells fresh, it smells clean, um, it lasts forever, it gets such good compliments, the projection and longevity is crazy on this. Um, I've had people tell me that they smell like this aftershave because they've been sat next to me. I went to uh, the cinema with one of my friends and he told me, uh, I wore this to the cinema like an idiot, not knowing how good the performance is. Um, but I wore this to the cinema and he said that he could smell it on his clothes the next day. That is how nice this is. And it just fills a room. Um, when you walk into the room, people know you're there. Go easy on the sprays with this thing. Three sprays is all you need and it will last you all day. But coming at the number one spot, guys, um, I need to do a review on this one to talk about it a lot more. That's Louis Vuitton the camera focus, Louis Vuitton Imagination. Amazing. <laughs> uh, super good. Okay, guys, so that is going to do it for this list. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it to this point, please comment down below uh, any suggestions you might have for um, some summer fragrances. Leave your top three down below. Also, guys, if, like I said, you are new to the channel, please feel free to go around and drop a like and subscribe. If you are new here, it really does help out on the channel. We are on our way to hitting 1,000 subscribers. I want to say a big thank you guys for all the support lately. Uh, it's been great. Um, I mean, I'm a fairly new channel and the comments that I've been getting and all this stuff has just been amazing. So again, thank you guys so much. So guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys pick up some of these for summer. That'll be great. Uh, so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.